So let's start our app by clicking on the icon. So uh, <coughs> this is this our landing page or home page. We can start our analysis by clicking on the start button. We can also have learn more button where you can browse more information about the same application. For the demo, let's just start our analysis. So we have four options to choose for our basic shapes. We have flat plate, we have cube, we have cylinder, and for we have tube. For this particular analysis, let's just select our cube. So this is the basic uh, summary of the model with default parameters. Uh, let's start putting the in parameters inside it. So here we need to enter length, width, and height. Let's just create a cube with four by two by one meter height. So I just and created a cube with four by two by one. You can hit apply and it will save these values and you can see the reflection over here. So we created a cube with length 4 meter, width 2 meter and height 1 meter. Let's select a material. We have two options, steel and aluminum. You can pick any one you want. For this particular one, I'm going to hit a cancel button because I don't want to change my material. Uh, let's just add loads for that. So uh, I'm going to apply loads in of a thousand newton in negative z direction. So and I'm going to hit apply. So it it said that load is in negative z direction. Let's select few geometry for that. So here we have different options. We can f select faces. We have two views to select faces. We can select edges. Again, we have two views for selecting edges, or you can select vertices. We have two views for vertices. For, you can even browse through different options on the uh, top bar also. Let's apply our load on the right face. So when you select it, it says it's a thread. Let's just hit apply. You can see the summary that one face has been selected. For the constraint, we have three types of constraint, fixed one, pinned one, and free one. For this particular analysis, I'm going to pick a fixed constraint, and I'm going to hit apply. Let's select the geometry on which we want to apply the constraint. Again, we have the same options. I'm going to uh, select the left. Since we applied our load on the right face, I'm going to put our constraints on the left face. And then I'm going to hit apply. So basically, we are ready with our model. We have a cube with 4 by 2 by 1 dimension. The material is steel. The load is applied of 1,000 newton in negative z direction with one face, which is a right face. The constraint is applied of a type fixed, which is applied on one face, which is our left face. When I click on this button, it will so send this information to cloud, and it will receive the results, and it will show it. The whole thing will take around four to five seconds. You can see this activity indicator that it's waiting for the results. And now it's loading the results, and now we can see our report. So you can see different, there are the whole summary of the report. We created a 4 by 2 by 1 cube with loads applied on the right face in a negative z direction. We have applied constraint on the left face, which we can see in the model. You can see different material which we selected for steel. You can see the mesh generated. the whole model with mesh and loads and constraint. And now we are being shown the solution. Being shown the solution. So this is the deformed view with the stresses applied on it. This is the solid one missy stress contour plot. This is sol solid principle A plot. This is solid principle C plot. And the conclusion.